Okay, so it was a very cold, wet night. We got a couple of feet of snow. The bunny house actually fared pretty well. Yeah, but outside day. Oh, here's the problem though. We'll kind of see there's a separation between the gazebo roof and the, the tarp. And so we've got, oh, while we don't have two feet of snow in here, we definitely have a wet floor. And the bunnies, while it's actually not that cold in here, they are wet. Rosie and they're good. all having kind of a little bit of a bad hair day. So I'm thinking what we might do is kind of bring them inside for a day. Give them a little bit of a spot, a spot bath, a spot cleaning. Yeah. And they, let them warm up a little bit. They're not supposed to touch water, but we're doing this because they're just, they just can't be. Look at Rosie. Rosie yeah. really likes this. Her cheeks up here. Up yeah. Here, up, here, up here. Up here. Up here. Up here. Rosie's I think that they could really just use a break from sort of the dampness. I mean, they've got a lot of really dry places to hide. And overall, it's really not that bad in here. Yeah, but we're good. Oh, oh. Oh, but the floor is damp enough in some spots that it's really kind of made these guys, especially these long-haired guys, their fur could really use a cleaning and they could use a day of dry. Their hay is still dry under here, which is good. I'm going to refill the hay bin. Let me show you. They're still dry in here, which is excellent. Um, and, uh, there's, there, yeah, and they look, could use a good, look, look, there's the little, yeah, there's... this is a dry spot and this is the driest and warmest spot, which they have been utilizing. I've seen them huddled in here. Um, so they do have a lot of dry spots to go to, but I think that they could use a little break from the cold and wet and we could do some spot cleaning and let them come in for the day. I do not have any.